Welcome to the shit show. Hey. What's going on, everybody? Yes, welcome to we the shit show. We are here to talk about all things weed. We got Josh Esparza, the weed Esparza. connoisseur. Ay, got ay, ay, ay. Instagram at God got mad flavor. Got mad and then we got Mama buffet. Beats in the house. Hey. 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 What's up, Georgie and Josh? How you guys doing? That like Good, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having us, dude. Yeah, this, this is really beautiful cool. apartment, man. Hell this yeah. Is, this is awesome, dude. Hey, you, bought, you definitely brought the buffet of weed. Yeah, dude. We literally yeah, have and contraptions. About, yeah. what, 50 different little tubes of shit here right now? <laughs> is there any, uh, so it tell us what you got. so wrong. I know, right? Tubes of shit. You mean, well, yeah. Containers yeah, of the marijuana or <laughs> cannabis. Because people can't see. This is how much there's no... reefer? What? Well, there's maybe like... Eight jars of weed. We've got some restash jars. Got the lift tickets. There's THC infused rolling papers. Lift ticket. Got a bunch of NorCal brands out here. Genetics. We finest out cannabis. Jimmy with the cocoa nugs. We picked yeah. out Jimmy with the, the some chocolate nugs cocoa in nugs in a fucking jar that uh, looks like weeds. Fucking, it's actually chocolate. <laughs> It's yummy. That's actually Supreme Patty's stuff too, it, which Fuck he has yeah. his own medicated chocolate. So you just you just came from the cannabis cup yesterday up in San Francisco. Yeah, dude. It Did was you super uh, good get any of this product from there, or is this yeah. all just? Dude, so you just like I picked up some. I picked up these jars. These jars right here, the the branded stuff. Um, because I don't. A lot of the Bay Area stuff doesn't make it down here, man. Like really? They, yeah, because it's dude. They're smoking good out there and. Weed's been established yeah, for a minute. Yeah, and, from the Bay Area. Yeah, yeah, and so it never makes it down. All the good stuff, all the exotic shit, like, you know, it's really hard to get down here in L.A. No so shit, I thought Whenever you I go up to SF, I it. always pick up. Nah, man, the Bay kills it. You know what's killing right now? Sacramento as well. Jesus. Yeah, my friends are growing some... right now up there. Yeah? Dude, yeah. it's a good spot right green, now. The Greenstone. The we'll Greenstone. <laughs> no, I'll have to check it out next time I'm out there, but I, I hear really good things about Sac right now in the weed scene. It's cracking. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy just from 20 years ago. I mean, I literally got felonies from weed. What, you 20 did? years ago, yeah. Fuck. Three felonies for weed. That's insane. <clears throat> I mean, I got them expunged, but they're still, like, still not supposed to legally own a firearm. But uh, yeah, then now I'm driving on the road seeing delivery service for, for yeah. cannabis on billboards. <laughs> I feel weird knowing that there's a lot of people in jail because of that shit. And then Dude. we're like, tack, like <clears throat> the government's making money off that shit. I was just right. telling them, there's, there's this cat in Michigan, which is a legal rec state. He's doing a 65 year, basically a life sentence. Um, for three pounds of weed, tw- uh, twenty-five years ago, he's been there for twenty-five fucking. And they years. can't get him off. They're what? trying, dude. Where's he but from? Here's the fucked Michigan. up part. Yeah. What's his background though? Where's he from? Oh, I don't know. Is it a white guy? Nah, it's a black guy. I think. Oh, I guess totally. Dude, the war on yeah, drugs. It's, so it's always something racist. like that. Yeah. Just saying. Just oh, saying dude, the war the war on drugs was completely directed at poor people and minorities. Yes, dude. for sure. I was actually just listening to Sean King's podcast. That dude I was telling you about. Um, and he did a he did an episode on it, dude. And he just explained how well one Joe Biden wrote that law, like no no he wrote the mass incar- incarceration law, which was also geared towards like uh, minorities and poor people. But the Nixon Biden era, fan. yeah, dude, no way, huh? No way, man. So they're they're trying to get you know have all these nonviolent oh. offenders who are in jail right now. They're trying to get them out, like. I mean, of all people, Kim yeah. Kardashian is doing that right now. I don't know if you guys saw that, but she's no like, shit. she's literally she's like, what? yeah, she met with uh, Trump, dude. with Trump twice. She just met for the second time the other day, and they're about wow. to release all these people for that reason. Oh shit! So I didn't even can't hate on that, dude. No, no I'm not liking her. Straight Absolutely. up, yeah, dude. She I respect a, that, dude. She's the a helping boss. people, right? Yeah, she's a boss. Well, SF. Her um, porn was pretty lame, though. She can't fuck with hell. It's horrible. I don't think I've lasted more than five minutes of any porn. Ten, yeah, right. Ten minutes is like a crazy Shit, you're a go-getter, session. fuck. No, I'm <laughs> you're a go-getter. Hey, it's, it's, you Longevity. Like variety. Sometimes you want to... It's just one one yeah. movie doesn't do it. I don't know. <laughs> What's <laughs> everyone's go-to porn? Go. Porn, <coughs> porn like, Hub type, is a new one. Type. No, oh, oh, Pornhub.com. Like? I was very... Alien to that. I just wanted to throw that out there. No, but what do, you, what do you type <laughs> That's in? That's really good. The, la- the Latinas. Latinas. The Latinas. The Latinas. Um, I don't know. Threesomes. 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 Two girls, a guy? Yeah. Jimmy, what do you like? Oh, DP. DP? Mm-hmm. Full blood. Okay. <laughs> Plunge it down, bitch, Exclusive <laughs> DP. <laughs> Destroy her holes. I like, I like me Destroy some orgies. Destroy the holes. Oh, yeah. I like me some orgies. You guys don't like, you don't watch that? I, do I was orgies. planning on... I live orgies. When I, was, <laughs> I was hoping you were going to... I am an orgy. And I was going to be like, I'm here for the orgy. And then I was like, that's... That's an old thing. This is what I was planning. In well, my it's car gonna be an orgy later. for today. That's, oh yeah, I thought that's how we my cap it. My boyfriend's here for a reason. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll be leaving shortly. <laughs> Hi Jesse. <laughs> hey, so, what's the craziest thing that you got to see at the Cannabis Cup? Like, you've seen, you've seen. Dude, all I saw these a wall. Like, I saw a Wally blend, dude. That was fucking tight. What? What is that? Wally from from Disney. 
Yeah, it was serious? a blunt. Oh, blunt and I'm going to show you right here. Yeah, in the shape of Wally. We'll, yeah. throw this, we'll throw this on the site so you can send this over. Yeah, definitely. I saw some crazy shit too, but I oh. wasn't there. Oh, shit. Yeah. What the fuck? That's a blunt? Oh you can God. smoke that, yeah. You How do you smoke fucking smoke that? that? Dude, it's a trip, dude. What the fuck? And then there's this basketball. Oil. Oh, so there's. Oh, so the it's basketball. literally. Yeah, yeah. So that, the that's the glass tip right there in the back. You see it? Oh my God, that's sick. The glass tip's in the back. <laughs> you would hit it there. So for that's our listeners, crazy. it's literally a a blunt that's <laughs> shaped like <laughs> Wally the robot. And there's a basketball. It's got a little line. carb in the back and like a little mouthpiece, and you just light it up. You almost have to see it to really understand yeah, it fully. I'm, it's gold. Crazy. Dude, but some of these cats are doing almost. dope. Bro. Dude, dude, they can do like a double barrel shotgun blunt. Like I saw it's one nuts. of this guy. I saw a video of uh, that dude Adam mm -hmm. hitting a blunt that's a bong. And, oh, it had and, a, and it had the nail on it. A dab nail on it. Yeah. So he was oh. hitting a dab through a hittable bong that was lit and smoking. It looks like a bong. An actual bong is like starting to like. It's right here. Yeah, it's it's so hard to describe. <laughs> oh it looks like the bottom God. of the bong is like on fucking. So he's fire dabbing it. Like <laughs> he's dabbing and ripping it. It's, How high do you want to fucking get? Shit. Yeah, that's that, and that's like a dude. That's like eighteen inches of blunt, dude. That's fucking huge. Dude, I can take it whenever Bammer weed right now. Be hired and fuck. <laughs> what are we smoking right now? What is yeah, it? Tell us about what we're uh, smoking right now. This is um. This is uh, Johnetics. Johnetics in the house. Johnetics in the house. Me. Had to bring the reggae vibes for Drake. This <laughs> right? tastes so good, man. Sherbert, yeah. But dude, there was so much fire at the cut, man. Like, dude. So can you go and order one of those Wally blunts if I wanted to get one? Yeah, they do custom stuff. So yeah. you just like you just <laughs> definitely go on their website and just buy it. Mm -hmm. Like mostly IG. Do you Goddamn. remember what they're, they're all, all trapping? The name know? of their company <coughs> called that one. There's was... a few people that do it. It's pretty trippy. That was the grasshopper. The grasshopper. <laughs> and... It's like a guy. Yeah, it's usually like a guy that's just like but that, that's the about... crazy guy that rules shit, right? Yeah. Well, most most of these brands out here, they were all trapping. That they had no choice. They were outlaws. You know. I mean. And so now that it's legal, it's this weird combination of, you know, these people that have been outlaws for like 20 plus years coming in with corporate money, fucking John right. Boehner right. and shit, right. being on boards and shit, like, Everyone insane. Wants in. Yeah. Everyone wants in. Yeah. And well, th like, that's like what Prop 64 is. It's just, you know, it's basically just wrapped weed up in red tape and, you know, there's so many regulations, the ever-changing regulations, like the carpet just keeps getting pulled out from people, like... Huh. The only way you're going to survive is you can keep capital up and keep up with these, you know, all the money you got to pay well, to, to be a brand. That's why the black market is still striving again. Oh, it yeah. went down for a while. It was hurt. Yeah, And dude. now with all the laws. Prices were bad, dude. And and now, like, <clears throat> power's all back in their pocket, especially with the, all those raids in Anza and up in uh, NorCal. They hit Eureka and stuff, too. Oh, yeah, like, I heard they hit some places up there. Dude, they hit a bunch. DEA's straight up. You know, flying around all up and down well, California. You know, these people, people are paying like forty dollars for a half gram fucking cartridge at these fucking stores. Yeah, this is too crazy. Dude, it you, got get crazy. Them, you get them on the street for ten bucks. Yeah, for well, good ones. Be careful. Ones. You gotta be careful. Be careful yeah, I wouldn't do carts in general. Even shit in stores, dude. Like it's scary. Um, this brand Herba. It's a huge brand. Um, uh, someone just posted that they're selling cookies carts. And Cookies is a very well-known brand. Right. Very well-known brand. Cookies doesn't make carts. They don't make carts at all. So a Prop 64 legal shop in L.A. had f a product that what didn't even exist. And for that to happen is p kind of crazy because, dude, everything's tracked C to sale now. Everything is literally fucking over-labeled and, like, multiple packages just for, like, right. you know, one pre-roll or some shit, you know? Um, so for that to happen at that level is kind of crazy. Um, so but that's so just, like... Someone <coughs> essentially put their brand on on their own someone showed up to that cart? shop told that buyer like hey i got cookies cards that person did know better not their fault likely right. yeah, but yeah, so but brands. it ended up on the shelf you know what i mean and that wow but it's what that is that shows what's wrong the, like the market's so fucked right now yeah. dude it's gonna take so long to get things in order get prices proper yeah. like i know people in miami selling shit for like as I mean, I don't know the people, but I, I've heard of people selling Jungle Boys, which is like a big brand out here that's like the, one of the best, like, you know, highest quality legal weeds you can get out here. And people in Miami like faking it, basically. Like, oh, yeah. And, and it's packaged like exactly the same, but they change their packaging now. Like I've noticed like every like almost every month or two and probably because of that. Yeah, Because they're always like, shit, we got to fix it again. We got to figure this out. And now they have some like crazy holograms on there that you can't even like fake. Can't duplicate. So is this happening all over the country where it the prices went up once everything becomes legal because of taxes and now it's shifting to the black market? It's is cheaper. that is that what? happening everywhere? 
Like even in Colorado? Or <clears throat> no, just that's California? definitely a Cali thing right now. But the thing about that is that Cali supplies everyone else. You right. know what I mean? There's like, yeah, so people on the East Coast are going to be hurting really bad. Yeah, like, I heard people saying this already. Yeah, no, already it's, it all trickles infected. down, and everyone taxes, ships from California. Right? We're just taxed. I mean, we tax the shit out of, like, everything here. So is yeah. that what's going on? Well, there's taxes, and there's also, like, laws that, like, you know, one law that that was that happened, uh, like, a year ago was uh, there was a limit on how many acres you can have as a grow, and that allowed the smaller boutique guys to have a chance at the rec market. But then they changed the law to where you can have unlimited acres. So now big money's coming in, right? By undercutting fuck. everyone wow. and just drowning people. You know, if you, you got to keep your head, if you can't keep your head above water, you're done for. You know, so what's the state of all these raids? Like, what's going on? Because I saw I saw in uh, Riverside County they were you know raiding people, people with permits and with all the right paperwork. I heard about that too, and I, I think that's more on the medical side. That uh, like you know someone that you're allowed six plants or some shit. <laughs> Jesus yeah, Christ. Me up. <laughs> hey, it's all Jimmy good. Jimmy is like a little pig. He's just nah, sitting he's there like snorting. He's super gentlemanly and he stepped away. We're going to get he a pillow. He control his, his volume. I, yeah. Our, we, you know, I normally cough a lot, and, yeah. which is, you know, Drake gives me shit. I'm like, we have, we're having weed on here right now. Everybody's going to be fucking coughing. Yeah. I feel right at home. <laughs> our first our first four episodes that we had, the only feedback we got was Jimmy coughs too much, which is, really? very, which is very true. Because literally, I, I had pneumonia. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've been bronchitis. coughing this whole fucking episode. No, that's fine, though. But literally, Right. Jimmy was like, I was sitting there for hours just editing out all of his coughs. Yeah. And same thing with, <laughs> same thing with Chris. Same thing with Chris, too. Damn. He was like, at least the, between the two of us, we spent so I much time. Chris. Shout out to the engineers Shout real quick. Out I just gotta, Chris, I gotta put producer. some engineer. Yeah, sorry about that, Chris. Some engineer love out there. Chris, What's up, Chris, Chris, shout out to Kristen, shout out to J Wiz. Yeah, Kristen, she's our uh, her song "Skies" from her band is uh, that's our theme song. No shit, yeah. I oh, heard that's this. right. She started I her own this band. Song. So she showed it to me. Um, Miles to nowhere. Dude, shout that out. shit is fresh. It's so fresh. Her voice dude. is so cool. Your boy so Wiz too from uh, from We're Stupid. Done, right? He he like mixed it all. Sounds yeah, so exactly. Good. Dude, they showed me in Vegas when we were, when I went for the Stupid show. The recent, so good. The recent I one. fuck with the Iration people heavy man. You guys are dope, dude. From like top to bottom, good. You guys people, are my, sum, my summer camp buddies. Fuck yeah. yeah. Which when is I was what on, I was going to say. Straight and up, that's, that's how I met Josh, all, too. Actually, all four of us met. Me and Jimmy Tra- met. Exactly. In Tahoe. <clears throat> and then we met because we all were on the road. No, but stupid. I do. Yeah. I remember meet, meeting you now. Like, can't, the more that really we've sat here, guy. I just... That whole that whole tour is kind of hard to remember yeah. where things happen. So, right. Um, I'm this guy fucking tours. knows everyone though, dude. <laughs> yeah. I'm, somehow, fuck. How do you know all these people? Yeah, dude? You're like, Mrs. You're like fucking Bush, America's like most popular kid. Yes. I, don't know. I, I don't know. I still don't know. <laughs> I don't even like people. Fuck. So wait, how do you know Book? How do you? How did you meet? A good friend of mine was his like was really good friends with him. And he used to drive his drive the RV that they used to tour in. Mm. Oh, and nice, so he tried taking nice. me when they went there or he came when he goes hey book them follow you on Instagram they seen that I know you because we took a picture he goes you gotta come to the show I said okay start going there's like fucking amazing all the whole crew is just the best people in the world you know? oh dude yeah for sure <laughs> yeah, man like Chris Reezy big Brosey, family yeah Leslie Carl COC Tati I mean everybody's just fucking awesome that's dope dude so we started hanging out and just became really good friends now when they're in the area hey come to our show okay I'll be there in a minute and you know, mail each other Christmas cards now and shit, so it's pretty cool. Fuck yeah, they're fucking amazing people. Dude, yeah, they were mad humble. I met yeah. them that summer as well. That was that, that, that was show like a, was crazy. A dude. weird dream for me, really, like a couple yeah. months because I did so I did sound I did monitors for that tour and that's mm. how I met Josh. Mm. Yeah. One day Josh is like, I think Josh was like, kind of like sniffed out that I was like <laughs> about the the herbs. Obviously, <laughs> not even kind of sniffed out. What am I saying? <clears throat> But uh, yeah, and, and you smoked me the fuck out. Like, dude, we had that harder dude, than anybody that whole tour. It was and, that banana OG, dude. And you guys had your own bus. You, and, mm-hmm. and you, we, we dude, it was the Red Hot Chili pup, red, red Hot Chili Peppers old bus. You couldn't oh, see gosh. like three yeah. feet in front of you. So, uh, <laughs> a, a, fucking a little background. <laughs> a little background. It was Sounds of Summer tour in 2006, 17. 18. 2018? What? No, 17. Yeah, 2017. 17. Damn, and it right. was uh, headliners were slightly stupid, and that's where George worked. Mm-hmm. He worked did monitors for stupid, and then the, the tour was sponsored by Ghost Vapes, mm-hmm. which is the company that Josh works for. Yep. And uh, those are some pretty badass vapes, actually. They're pretty amazing. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> get you fucking high. They get you really <laughs> high, and they're called Ghost Vapes because you can. There's no smoke. Yeah, there's it's no super vape. super tasty. Oh, really? No smoke. Very discreet. Out. You ever use like a volcano? 
the Alex smoke weed. Oh, that's right. It's like it's this a, big, like this big ass de- desktop machine. It links up you to put my flower iPhone. in it, like it's weed nuts. flower, yeah. and it vapes it. Fills up this bag, this six foot bag. Oh, I've seen that from a long time. And then ago. you fill it. Yeah, dude, it's OG. It's one of the first that's ones, one and it's one of the ones. it's one of the best too. It was steam, medical it's design. It didn't burn the weed. Well, it's vapor versus smoke. So when you smoke weed, that's combustion. That's like seven hundred degrees burning that shit. When you vaporize it, that's extraction. That's like treating it with heat and getting all those essential compounds Oils without carcinogenic way. smoke but it's it's mad key because like when you're smoking weed there's terpenes there's cbd there's yeah. cbn there's all these different you know chemicals compounds in there that have different flash points and boiling points where their best uh flavor and effects at so if you use a vape um you're, you're it's basically it's like when you cook steak if you cook a steak too well done you can never come back and get those other flavors that's right. what you're doing when you smoke a joint or hit a bong right you're just blasting it with heat but when you treat it with temp like in a vape and start on those low temps and work your way up, you're going to taste it like it's All never tasted through. before. Yeah. How do they use turkey bags, right? That's what they used to use. Yeah. The, yeah. The yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was, that's old school. That's that like 20 something years ago. <laughs> those things are crazy. About 20 years ago. 18 years ago. Can that's you explain crazy. what happens when, when, dab, when you're dabbing? Like, obviously, yeah. that's a really high heat because I've seen people burn their fucking fingers off. Yeah, yeah. Burned well, it's a couple times you, at the you gotta do it properly. You gotta let it. Heat. You've hurt. You burn your shit. Hell yeah! <laughs> I put holes in in rugs. I'm not gonna say whose rugs. I'm pretty sure one person doesn't know that there's a rug That's so funny. hole in there. You move, you move the coffee table totally. over. Totally, it. It was <laughs> really like something like that. It was under the couch actually. Anyway. But you just gotta let it cool down. You can do like low temp dabs, which is more tasty and less like like abrasive. <laughs> The Cough biggest thing about shit Cough like that, Cough if Cough you don't crew. smoke weed regularly and you smoke some good shit out of nowhere, or especially dab something, you're like shocking your system with THC. It's especially great. like if you I don't have the low time. It's great. Well, and that. yeah, it's to the point where people are like, why the fuck? Why would anyone want to do this? You know? Right. Well, that's because you don't have any THC in your system. It's just like any chemical in your system. Mm-hmm. You got to introduce it in a certain way. So if you have, if you want to smoke weed and yeah. and enjoy your high, but you don't like when you get too high, what you should do is, uh smoke or eat cbd regularly for like four to five days and at that point you've built up cbd which is um one found in cannabis but two uh uh lowers the effects of thc so if you're ever too high eat a cbd edible yes. or smoke really? cbd that's and it'll I bring your high down no yeah. Really? yeah yeah i, I have mm-hmm. cbd joints that's what i that's smoke. Some educational but, yeah shit so right yeah there. i love cbd so like if you have if you have cbd into your system regularly for like four or five days then you smoke like a normal thc thing uh, like joint, it won't be as abrasive as if you were to just smoke that THC joint without huh. having CBD in your system. You know, interesting. It's pretty I crazy. literally had Trippy. no idea. And yeah. those things are pretty fucking intense. They are. Uh, by the way, I, I need. I'm gonna get one of those fucking Puffco peaks. I gotta get one. Man. Oh, what? Do you, have you guys heard There's of this it? dab rig? That's like, uh, it's basically it self heats. It's like it's oh, a, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, a yeah. portable self heating. So cool. good. We really? had one on. I, we had a, doc, a Dr. Dabber, the tour that I met you on. Shout out to Zach and, and doc, Dr. Dabber. <laughs> Um, that's dope and that kept us dude that's that was a dabby tour very dabby tour <laughs> well you guys were dabbing you didn't know this nah dude Shut wow up. I missed what do you out mean? After are you that, serious after, after that banana OG oh my god <laughs> We don't have a dab. I feel like I'd be throwing people in the bus. I brought mine to my car. I'm dabbing with. <laughs> to bring it up. <laughs> it's not. I don't know. Is that a? Anyway, everybody was fucking dabbing. Everybody's fucking dabbing. Everybody was dabbing. What are you talking about? Dude, that's dope. This is literally like a fucking dispensary. In my house. <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> the dab cabin was so in do the you back guys, of our bus. So. Do you guys prefer to dab or do you guys prefer to smoke? I always see you on I'm on joints. Your, on your yeah. Instagram. I stopped dabbing for a while. Yeah. And then recently, I've been. I hung out with Josh again, basically. Yeah. Bro, Sometimes that was a big one. The other night, that, smell this is good too. That, but you have a nice rig. It de- and you know what? I will say that yeah. it depends what you're using to dab. Because pe- some people are still using like either older technology or like some really grimy, nasty shit. Yeah, dude, there's and, a lot or, of bad wax you, out there, dude. Or they're actually, yeah, even the shit. I meant the rigs themselves, but also the oh. shit that you're oh, dabbing. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, you're totally right. Obviously, the stuff that you're dabbing can be horrible. Well, also, in how you dab, if you do it too hot, you're fucking exactly, that shit up, Exactly, there's dude. so it's many like, ways to do it, so. Yeah. Yeah, there's ways to, to make it enjoyable. I think for anybody who's had like a horrible time with that, with dabbing? you can second chance it and like do it right. Maybe hang out with Josh, somebody like Josh. For real, straight up, and and you'll, you'll, I've had like rookie smokers. I've seen people that have never smoked weed take a dab and had the greatest time of their life, and then I've seen the entire opposite with somebody who's smoked forever. Right. Yeah. I've seen them like throw the fuck up immediately <laughs> yeah. and like 
<laughs> if they have that story, they're like, very angry. you talk to anxious. them the next day, you know? Dab's like creating zombies. <laughs> it's but, you, but if you do it properly, it's really nice. And, and what it is is it has to be low temperature. And again, it goes back to temperature. If yeah. you do a hot dab, you're going to be like fucking twack. You're going to be like, but if you do oh, a low temp friend. dab, it's like, this is tasty and it's huh. minor. So what's, yeah. what's next in cannabis? In a year, in two years, what's going to be different? <clears throat> Dude, I don't know. It's it's changing every two weeks, honestly. Really? Absolutely, man. It's 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 kind of crazy, dude. Like, there's so much happening. There's so many people. Like, John, uh, who's it? Jim John Belushi. Jim Belushi has his own weed brand in Seattle. Like, all dude, it's crazy, dude. Everyone's getting involved in like yeah, right. the of, scene. There's a lot of money coming Matt in. Matt Drake Archer's up there, and Be Legit's doing a bunch of big stuff up there. Fuck yeah. Oh, Be Legit. Yeah. Legit. That sounds familiar. He's, uh, a he bunch of rappers do this stuff. shit. Oh, okay. I think I've seen his shit, actually. That yeah, sounds familiar. He's pretty, pretty famous. He's a good friend of mine. Mm. A lot of rappers doing the weed game. Absolutely. Snoop, yes. Snoop since day one, obviously. Yeah, Snoop. And I just recently on? smoked um, Nipsey Hussle's strain, oh, um, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, Marathon OG, and it was Fucking amazing! It, it was my first time having it. Is it his actual strain that he created, or is yeah, it like yeah, a... he, he he. Well, he didn't create it. He worked with a company and picked it okay. out for his own. Um, but it's been out for like five, not like three plus three, four, three, four years, something like that. Um, Shit. but I tried it the first time, dude. It was a hitter, man. I was really? fucking stone heavy was that OG. What he, would, what he would like carry that was his shit. It? Yeah, Damn. marathon OG. Shout oh, out. it's a marathon. Shout out R.I.P. R.I.P. for real. And every day, every episode, we're always like, we talk about someone and we're like, shit, they just died. Nah, we're dude. talking about Bourdain the other day. Who? Anthony oh, Bourdain. Man. And oh, man. He's a hero to so many people, man. So That's what's He was creepy. a legend, huh? Yeah. I don't know too much about him, but yeah, I know Bourdain? he was just like an OG, yeah. The, the chef dude yeah, that yeah. had his show? He's... Oh. Watch the show, man. Have you ever seen it? Nah, it's you good. Gotta so see good. It. It's such an experience. It's a different thing. It's beautiful. It's like a little documentary. Yeah, and he's know? really smooth about making like his day to day look like art, man. Like it's yeah. really, really cool. Yeah, absolutely. And like he's a boss. And make you like want to enjoy um, food, you know? Like try to really enjoy it on another level or what? I don't know. Interesting. Yeah. As a good chef or whatever should do. Yeah, the so best his, do that. The his, best make newest, you feel that way. his newest show was called uh, Parts Unknown. That was CNN, and so uh, oh yeah, it's yeah, on, it's on Netflix. And so literally, he would that. go to all these places that nobody would ever go to or show any love to. And he's like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna, we're gonna go here. We're gonna go to this Damn. shithole city in the middle of Tennessee, and, he, and then we're gonna make it look badass." And, and he makes he it look like he's having a blast. And I'm he sure is. he is. I, well, he I did, don't want to. He did the Obama. Cause... He did the Obama one. I saw that one. No, you're thinking of uh, you're thinking of Jerry Seinfeld, right? Cars, comedians, and cars. Oh, that's no. so sick. No, that's didn't Bourdain? One. Are we still talking about Bourdain? Yeah. Right? Yeah, he did. He had a he did a segment with Obama. Mm. They went to like Thailand and had a beer and like and some oh, random geez. hole in the wall spot. Really? Yeah, you guys haven't seen it. Oh, dude, that's the only thing I really know him of. Like. Wow. It's good, yeah. But that's like what I understand of Bourdain. He's just like a dude you want to sit and have a beer with. Yeah, like, that's, right. you know? Damn. Not wrong with that. Yeah. That yeah. sucks. Fuck. Not at all, yeah. So nothing's going to change in cannabis in two years, Josh? I have no, a I'm question. It's, it's, dude, it's changing. Yeah, it's definitely changing. <laughs> well, the biggest thing about weed right now is that is that the mainstream... <laughs> Stunner tangent that we just got into a few seconds dude, ago. Dude, with me around, watch out. <laughs> oh, you're the best at the tangents, though. Yeah, fuck that. Um, Content, keep going, baby. keep going. But the mainstream, they don't know shit about weed. They're still trying to figure out indica and sativa right. while the community, the weed community, the cannabis community is trying to get rid of those terms because... Everything is, it's about terpenes now. It's about strain profiles. It's oh, about shit. entourage effect. Whoa. There's all this, you know, the weed has never got as much focus as it has been the past couple years because of um, legalization. So yeah. now there's some, you know, m funds and brains being put behind research into cannabis. Should and, I roll? you know, there's a lot of cool shit coming up. I'm going to roll. I'm sorry. What's up? Should You're I rolling? Roll? Yeah, should I? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> roll one up. Dude, those roll papers, one up. I have never seen what, roll one Tell us about those papers. Papers. infused All right, papers. lift tickets, dude. Lift tickets are the shit. That's a connoisseur weed brand for sure. And they do strain specific THC infused papers. So you can, you, it's literally, you go, you buy a single Whoa. paper, one rolling paper to roll a joint, one joint with, and it's THC infused. Um, so this one right here is from Loud Pack Mimosa. This is Humboldt's Raw and Uncut Orange Cookies <laughs> THC Infuse, and what it is is uh, it's uh, it gives just flavor. You're you're getting the like the best flavor. It's super tasty. Um, but yeah, they do pre rolls, um, some really high end stuff. Like it they tastes kill it. really good. Yeah, they stay killing, and they're in they're they're up north too. Like everything's up north. Everything's man. up north. That's I mean, insane. The, the Emerald Triangle up there above us, and then our area in the Bay Area is just 
fuck everywhere else is plastered with fucking plants. Bad dude, ass. Oakland kills it, dude. Oakland's if killing. the weed doesn't get you high enough, the paper that you're smoking your weed in is going to get you high enough. Yeah. Well, if you got, like, you know, it's really ridiculous. bomb flour, like, <laughs> yeah. you put it in that for just all flavor. It's just pure flavor. It's, it's so It's crazy tasty. to see prices out there. I'm here. I used to sell years ago. That's why I got the felonies. <laughs> I mean, I'm still hearing like prices. Back in the day, it was minimum four thousand a pound for some bomb green. Now, fuck, I'm hearing the the kind kind is like eighteen hundred, two grand. I'm going, what? Huh. Well, it's jumping up now, so I think thirty two or thirty six wow. right now. Going back up that high. That's what I'm saying, dude. The I drought, the drought is for real, man. We would get quarter there, pounds for like six or eight hundred bucks in Miami. Yeah, a fire. Uh, from here, no, it was like definitely <laughs> B to C shelf. Those like, mids. I wouldn't say it was mid, like full mids level. I definitely had somebody like looking out mm. for the flavors, mm. but um, yeah, I definitely was having fun in Miami too. I'm like, sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've never was, been in Miami, dude. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta make it work, right? You gotta make it work. But um, yeah, yeah. I I had a question for you. What's up? And um, obviously in relation to Drake saying what's like the change going to be and you talking about prices too what happens now that it's legal or when it becomes even like because it's going to be nationwide soon right at one point hopefully three so to five years probably that really long, really shit. I didn't even think that I soon thought, I, thought, I didn't yeah, even I thought, think, that's really soon that's awesome some states are fucking anti anyways, right exactly Nazis. you mm. would think that it's not going to fucking Nazis? work Nazis anyways I Nazis, thought yeah you know, anybody hates like they're treat weed Nazis. Right, Nevada right. used to be a weed Nazi state. But not legitimate. Drake made not this face. Oh, no, Drake well, made know. this face I like know. I didn't know Nazis hate weird weed. Friends. Nazis yeah. smoke Nazis weed too. Super <laughs> wack. They, they don't even like weed. Do, do you think? Do you think the Nazis? <laughs> <laughs> do you think in World War II the Nazis were smoking weed <laughs> in the yeah, bunkers yeah, yeah. and shit? I know they're doing methamphetamine for sure. Yeah, hell yeah, they definitely were, dude. Do you have to tell you march to the snow for like a week straight, dude? Fucking, you have to be on meth. Oh shit! I almost forgot what I was saying. No, if, you're a Nazi, Nazi, if you're a Nazi and you're listening to this, I want you to find a gun and I want you to fucking shoot yourself Boom. in the head. Boom. I agree. Drake, no hate on the show, please. None of that. None of that, right? <laughs> so, but what happens now that when it becomes med- it's not it's not like, you know, California's now legal, right? And Colorado. What happens now like Nevada. that? All this medical everybody was pushing so hard on the medical, even the obviously the people that weren't like that we're smoking recreationally. What happens now? Like, do we drop this, like, like that that gray area? The people that were, you know, like, faking it to smoke and get their card and shit. Like, what happens now to make it look pro- not fake? You know what I'm saying? Like, it feels like a big chunk of that was like we had to fake it for a while, My right? Back hurts, well, I can't exactly. See. Well, yeah. dude, okay, which so it does help and it's great. It right. definitely fucking helps. And whatever you want to consider medicating, like you're medicating to some extent if you I'm want to think you are. Exactly. I got, a, I got contact medication right now, just so you know. But so are what happens high? now? What happens? <laughs> dude, we're gonna roll some like two or three more. Easier. What happens? Your Cherokee eyes are getting smaller. What happens if you like? You're part Cherokee. Now you want to like. Make this legit though, right? Yeah. Is it is it now gonna be like, is it gonna be no, a hybrid the biggest, of the two, or no, is it gonna be biggest, like you do what you do with this shit? We sell it like this, you know what I mean? Like, is it gonna be more rec related? That's my that's what I want to know. It's it's still trying to find its feet, and and the thing about like so California is one each state is its own thing, but California has been a notorious gray area in terms of cannabis for what Ever. twenty years. The two fifteen yeah. was everything. I got my card in ninety nine. Yeah, Pop it's been for a minute, you know, and and um, I was in ninth grade, <laughs> and and the culture's still real. <laughs> I'm just, I didn't mean to you, do wait, that. Did to you say you like got that. a medical, you got a medical card in ninth no, grade? No, no, I was oh. in ninth grade when he got a medical card. That's, <laughs> I just, I don't know why I said that like that. Looking for old things. Josh should tell you what grade you were. What were you? What were you doing in '99? Were you around? Ten, what? We were, we were ten. <laughs> I was ten. Yeah, we were ten years old. Me and Jake, we're the same age, aren't we? No, I'm we were, thirty-four. Oh, that's right. We were just yeah, learning yeah. how to masturbate. <laughs> Wait, ten? really? Nine, maybe, nine, maybe nine, earlier than that. Ten? Damn, I'm Hi, mom. Okay. That's great. Well, no. Nah, Damn, really? Right. No, no, ten is like. 50, when did I? 40, when did I lose my yeah, virginity? Starting things are happening. I think I was in like eleven. You're figuring grade. things out. I was a late bloomer. Eleven. Yeah, dude. When you first jerked off was eleventh. No, no, no. I lost my virginity. Oh, I lost my virginity in senior year. Oh, that's right. No, fuck that. I was 18, but I don't remember if I was a senior or if I was in college already. And I was like trying to be all fairy tale before that, like the right one. And, oh yeah. And then I, I can see, I, I can see my, you being really smooth. I'm a lover. I'm a lover, not a fighter. This is the coolest part of my life. Like, yeah, well, it, everything from here forward, 
downhill, just a precursor. Like, <laughs> no, no, I'm lying. I'm, I'm, lying. Like I'm totally joking. <laughs> I'm yeah, shout out to Charlie. <laughs> shout out to my baby girl. Who, I hope she never fucking hears this. I'm gonna <laughs> send her. Crap. Love right, Charlie. Send, whatever. Best tape in ten years. Um, <laughs> yeah, I ended. Up, I I ended up losing my virginity in a threesome. When really? I'm like 18, yeah. That is every Ch- man's What? Dream. It was pretty cool. Ch- Ch- yeah, 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 yeah. Ch- it was, uh... <laughs> Are you at home like, banging some fucking broad? That's how I lost mine. <laughs> George, you never told me this story, dude. What yeah, the fuck? Let's trippy. hear the story. Lama oh, beats. God. I don't want to go into, like, super details. I really don't, but I will a little bit. <laughs> For the show. Lama, For the show? Lama, Lama beats off. Bit. Yeah, is that yeah, Lama beats off? Dude, I mean... <laughs> I'll make a really long story short. Oh, my God. Shit. Um... Blame on the weed. Why are you so good at that, dude? <laughs> All right, so I was, these girls were. It was spring break in Miami. I'm, I lived Please in Miami stop. all oh, my life until like four years ago. We're gonna put music behind this, like really slow. <laughs> oh my god! Right. Okay, ready? To go. These girls were just in town from from, from Detroit for oh spring break, and that's. I mean, it was a, a group of four of them, I think, and. I my goal was to just try to like hook up with one of them and we were on my buddy's yacht. It's like this is an epic story. It is. <laughs> Wait, this was on a yacht? Oh god, this is this Lots is serious. Oh, Anyways, That's yeah, and I'm not putting shit. names in, or anything out there for this one. Damn, but, um, daddy. Yeah, it was like a, a, a dope little party going on, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna hook up with this girl, and her friend came along, and I was like, shut the fuck up. And I was like, and I was already, I think like the week before I broke up with this girl and I was super heartbroken. That like, you didn't get, you did, that, I was like, didn't get laid with? Shit. Never fucked her, no, 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 no. Still Never made love to her. Oh, my daughter's gonna hear this too. Not for a while. She, <gasps> my mom, she doesn't my, even know my, how to She talk. can't well, even walk. My mom or my, my wife will show, like rub this in her face. This is what your fucking father is. Wow. Father. You're totally lying. <laughs> you re- you reggae mom. guys. <laughs> You reggae yeah, guys so, in your threesomes. I mean, whatever. When anyone wow. loses their, when anyone loses their virginity, I don't care who you are. There's going to be a little bit of. You're going to get a little nervous, a little bit. So the fact that nervous. you had two broads or two bitches, we want to call them two old bitches. Two old bitches. Two bitches. Two old bitches. <laughs> I got one bitch on the left, one bitch. Bitches on the right. will call them. So, oh God. so tell us, did they like attack the D all at once, or did you just like go right and stick it in? Which one did you? Who, who oh, was oh, we're, God. Getting, we're getting into the nitty gritty. How did you choose which one you were going to fuck first? I just no, no. I want. I want. I was I was still kind of like yeah going for the one but I'm going to I'm just going to try to like put the brakes on this whole thing. We're talking about weed guys. Oh. <laughs> We're trying to talk about weed. We could I mean not not full brakes. We could let's, let's ease out let's ease out of this one. Also cut this out. Out. <laughs> but the real the real question is which one did you come inside? That's what I want to know. Oh god. Uh, weed. Uh, yeah, I love weed too. <laughs> That's so, so Josh funny. is rolling up a fucking <laughs> gigantic cone. Fucking baseball now, bat. Now, really what, what I really like is, and, and I used to smoke weed for about five or six years, like, all the time. I was really good at rolling joints. You? But, yeah. Loved, loved weed. Interesting. And then it started making me really anxious, which we're going to talk about that later. Dude, but I know I, why, by the way. But I, We'll get into that later. But I, what I really want to know is, what's the deal with all these crutches? Because, man, I used to always take the zigzag yeah. cardboard. This is a new thing in the game, for right. sure. And you would wrap it up. And these things that I see on your Instagram, Got mm-hmm. Mad Flavor, is they're fucking sick. Yeah, so Are they reusable? Yeah, I, I've used this one like at least they three dozen they times. They cost so much. Okay. Dude. Yeah, dude, some of them yeah, are like thirty bucks, dude. For, gla- for what, are they glass Bro, this one right here. So this is a, so this explain, is called scientific glass. Explain to everyone what these are. They're so cr- they're glass tips. It's a glass crutch. That one's used for your joint. Obviously, yeah. Um, I don't know why I said that like that. And yeah, dude. It, <laughs> Before you assume. It gives great sure. like it makes it makes it easier to roll, but two, it it cools down the smoke because if you think about it, cardboard. Cardboard is uh, doesn't hold heat really well, so that heat's just gonna go straight into your throat. Whereas the glass, it kind of cools it down, and oh, I'm sorry, the cardboard holds the heat a lot more, so it feels hotter. But with the glass, it's like a cooler, easier hit, and it's a longer pathway. And yeah, tip was like and when you're, bucks, that's crazy. And when you when you don't roll with the tip, you're wasting weeks. You got to hold that little bat, last yeah. little bit. And so like Most this, was, all my friends were, used to smoke weed, smoke joint. When it gets down a little bit, whoever had that hit just ate it. Just <laughs> ate it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, honestly, Everybody it probably that? got them high, well, dude. Back it back was like the thing. Yeah, whoever at the last one yeah, hit was that like, is a beautifully rolled joint. That's there. disgusting. <laughs> we're gonna do a little. Uh, <laughs> at the end of this, water. we're gonna do a little how to. Oh, yeah, That'd I've seen fun. people do yeah, this. Yeah, that'll be dope. Yeah, yeah. Right Pretty now, sure too. I did a little bit of bong water chug ones. Not the whole thing or nothing. Oh. But so five. Uh, five yeah, interviews in a weekend, huh, boys? Yep. Holy shit, you guys are troopers, dude. So we live. He lives in NorCal. I live in SoCal. Interviews. So we have to. 
we want to make sure we have enough content to release like <laughs> one a week. Well, he's on but tour, it's hard, so. and I'm, I go on tour. So oh like, yeah, you're still on tour, it's dude. Just, like it's really <clears throat> Drake kills it on fucking tour, bro. The, I'm a hero, dude. Hey, no, I'm a, that's I'm a, you're the, my hero. The I, solos, I'm a hero. dude. I'm a schoolgirl here because I'm talking to Drake. Drake is superstar, dude. Are you oh, kidding wow. me? Come on, I'm like fucking up. I just, I just blow into you, a piece of metal. You can really blow, dude. You can really blow, man. Right, Jesse? I can blow. <laughs> God, don't do that. So disturbing for me. Love it. We got to bring Jesse into the mix. Yeah, well, he, he wants has nothing. He, has to he, do with he wants nothing. He to do with wants us. absolutely. Nothing I want to know about Jesse's three. Has he told you that? He's told. He's. He's, has he gotten pissed? He's always trying to get, have us do a threesome. No, no. Je- no, he's never Jesse, asked that, I promise. Jesse likes... The, now I know why Jim is here. I don't know what to take yeah, serious here. For right a now. podcast. I'm a, I'm a podcast. Guy. What was true in the last like minute that Everything. you just spoke? Yeah. Everything was true. Nothing he says is true. <laughs> last so, of his trumpet. Can we... Uh, so, going back to the tips, there's one that I've seen. It looks like marble or something. What is that? Or called? it's like... Automatic cone filler. <laughs> What so you gr- it grinds Josh? it str- it grinds it straight into the cone. It's like a, ter- it's yeah, like a terminator for weed. Or so something. you can either grind it and roll your own, which I prefer to do. But yeah. if you have cones, you know how you can buy them empty. Yeah, just toss it in right here. This is so cool. Yeah, it's I totally gave up on this. It grinds right into it. You just you hit the button You're and go. You're fucking kidding me. Do you want do you want, to show, want me to show you, dude? dude it's here, sick. Dude, here, that's I gave up already, man. <laughs> roll another one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we started, started talking about really weird shit, and I, <laughs> I lost focus, man. <laughs> He gave up, hasn't even started. He literally pulled the paper out of the package, and that's it. <laughs> I'm done. It's too much for Automatic me. Automatic grinder. Yeah. All right, so you fill it here. <laughs> I'm really high, too. That, and then that it pushes down, down so you have more room. <laughs> no, yeah, we're about not. to smoke some chocolate. <clears throat> and then so you cool. press and hold this to turn it on. And so then you get your paper. Yeah, I really thought it. it was a bunch of nugs. Wait, this is the first then time I've seen it. In it? Then you get your paper, oh, okay. and then... Epic. It's called the Auto Banana Bros. For those of you listening in right now, if Whoa. you just if you just tuned in right now, holy shit, this sounds like Crazy, a sex huh? toy. Yeah, right. It does. <laughs> what drink you never know? Was. Well, it can be actually. <laughs> yeah, it can be. But so can this bottle of beer <laughs> and Is this that a microphone. Grinder in your pocket? You're happy to see me. <laughs> and a shampoo bottle. <laughs> Is that an automatic yeah, grinder? Yeah, that thing it looks like for sure. Right. Dude, bring it. Bring it, Take that to my next threesome. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy had a threesome in a while. Yeah, but that sounds dangerous. <laughs> Put some chicks together. That was it for me, man. That that was like I want to stress one. that was like, you know, it, it's not like I live like this all the time. <laughs> I really. I don't know. Nah, dude, when you're a kid, dude, <laughs> but bust your virginity on a yacht. Come on, on a threesome. It was cool. That's why I'm like. That's some epic this shit. Is podcast worthy, right? right? Dude, I just went on my first <laughs> yacht recently. It was fucking tight, I've dude. I've never been on a yacht. That was the only time I've ever been on a fucking yacht, guys. <laughs> you haven't been on a yacht? No, I'm joking. No, I'm totally joking. Fucking time. <laughs> I think I've been on like one other one, maybe. I'm totally... Beer? Anybody need another beer? Um, I'm okay right now. <laughs> yes. That was such a stoner thing. Like, um, <laughs> dude, no, you know what? You bring this the, the drinker in, in me out, because... Man, I'm, I That's seriously, I can't stress. No, it's his fault. <coughs> it's him and Iration and Stupid and all of them's fault. Hey, I will well, say, well, dude, the Stupid Boys so can no, put, totally they cool can throw this. down they still, dog. Down. They can. Dude, after what, like 20 years of like doing this shit Those and they're guys, still getting man. down like that? Pfft. Dude, shout out Kyle and his uh, his Jaeger, dude. Oh, yeah. Georgie, what's going on with what's going on with Llama Beats? I hear that you're doing a bunch of uh, you got a sh- you're programming a show and getting all ready for yeah, that. Yeah, we're what's getting up? we're we're gonna start playing shows. Um, we haven't played shows in like five years or so. Holy We've shit. been in the studio heavy, like working with different artists and stuff. Uh, as you know, Stupid yeah. being one of them. Absolutely. Um, and. What's the, what's the and a setup? bunch of people I got plug right should I plug everybody yeah, no plug I'm, it all. I'm joking no plug. do it what, no, 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 that's no. what it's all about plug it this well shout here. out to Mayday too then yeah yeah <laughs> slightly stupid Mayday why not Absolutely. there's a bunch more I can go forever but I'm, I'll can you we'll, tell, we'll, we'll scatter them around can you tell everybody this. and Jimmy doesn't know either just tell everybody what, what Llama Beats Llama is Beats and is who a, you are and everything Llama Beats is a production uh, team slash live act and we played a lot uh, in Florida and like Southern states. We did like a little tour that led to like South by Southwest with a an MC, a, a homie of mine, Parable. Shout out to Parable. Um, a while ago, this was in 2011, okay. and then we started working with different acts and different MCs and different bands, and that kind of like took the the whole like what's the, that was the focus for a long time, and we kind of put the show on the back burner, and it was cool though because we were working on music. That's re- I think that's where we really like get to like show what we're doing, you know. 
But yeah, now we have this live show where we're kind of bringing that studio mentality <clears throat> onto the stage and we're like making live loops and shit and we're like doing I, multiple instruments. I got a sneak peek of the of the live show, dude, and it's fucking amazing, dude. Damn. It's, it's really wow. good, dude. I'm, I was cool telling Drake earlier, dude. It's, I was I really see. impressed, dude. When can Honestly, we Honestly, I'm stoked. See. That's a good question. Tell us. Are you not sure book, yet? Book Lamavitz. That's, book Lama that's where it's at right now, yeah. Absolutely. There's gonna there's a couple things in the works like talking about certain shows, but it's all like, yeah, there's nothing like Slated yet? We're gonna. But there will. You have a, there will you have a Rick page, Ross track. Dude. Appreciate it, man. That's really cool, huh? You got you got that Rick Ross track, man. You got clout. Hold on, oh, hold man. on, Rick Wait Ross. Wait a second. Oh, I mean, there's men. There, we've, I've worked on a few things. I've like worked, as an engineer and as a producer, I've worked on a lot of things, but that's like a Charlie whole other Tuna world. Charlie Tuna, you fucked with. Oh, like, Char- that's Charlie. Charlie's the homie, that's the dude. Shout out to, I love that dude, guy. Dude, shout out to fucking Charlie Tuna. Yeah, we have a track with Charlie Tuna in the like. It's done. It's mi- it just mixed it this morning, actually. Round one though, so it's probably not like the final mix. Mm. Um, which I do that I mix everything so mm. it's hard to do that as well which kind of gets step out of like that creative side and then like put a different hat on and work on that end but anyways Tuna's on a track coming Fuck out yeah. soon um, it's a bunch of shit that we're working so on so can people find you under Llama Beats yeah, like on Llama Spotify Beats, or yeah. is it like are you guys doing stuff Charlie Charlie will put out one thing and then he'll be featuring you guys or so how does that work so the, tr- the, the project that we're going to feature Charlie Tuna on is called FOMO and that's a uh, Friends of Monsters, and uh, it's uh, an album we did with a with a friend of ours called Ant from Miami, who's like this insanely mean <sighs> MC. Yo, his new sick. shit. Sick. He's sick, and he produced my solo album, which I'm also like hoping to put out soon. Yeah. It, the hard thing is like figuring out how to put all this shit out. Like, Absolutely. You know, when you have so much. Well, you always have a home here, my dude. Friend. You this can is really cool. Put shit out. And whenever you have anything, you can always come here. That's really cool. Damn, we gotta, we gotta I really appreciate that. She uses trumpet on a track at some point. Absolutely. Dude, are you That'd kidding? That's sick, in, that's dude. been. I'm, we've been talking about that for a while. Buddy. We definitely gotta oh, make really? that happen. Oh, we yeah. live like ten minutes away too. Like <laughs> you gotta come through the studio for yeah. sure. You have to make that happen. Absolutely. We could probably make a lot of shit go we'll down. Do it next. The week. vibes are proper enough for to just lock in a room. You know what I mean? Yesterday, someone came over and they gave us weed. Okay. And I'm excited for this story. It's right honest, now. It literally looks like dingleberries that came out of my what? asshole. Get out of here! Is it Look bad? at that. Would you? How much would I have to pay you to smoke that? What is this? I don't know. These are the littlest baby nugs ever. I didn't even know they could grow this small. <laughs> like, but this looks this is microweed. Does it look good? Well, you guys it's can have it if you want. For it, it. <laughs> is this a decent. weed for ants? It just looks. It has no smell. That's kind of scary. It's probably from Mexico. <laughs> no, I'm actually gonna have in between. Dude, there's the absolutely place. no smell on this weed. Check it out. <laughs> and you guys, you drink the whole time you do these. This, this every single. Yeah, one? we take. We've been learning that we should take naps between the interviews. Yeah, it helps. It helps. And this we're gonna. Help. Damn, you guys have a system down, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're, okay we're learning still. We are learning. I don't feel very good today, but I'm feeling better after the second cup of wine. <laughs> yeah. It's, you guys know the Drink Champs <laughs> podcast. I've actually yes, I've definitely heard the Drink Champs cool. podcast. It's a friend of mine that runs that one. Oh no yeah, way! Yeah, Eric, EFN, DJ, EFN. Where, where do they do that? Shout here? out to him and shout out to Nori. Do they do that here in Miami? It's a crazy show. They do it. I think I think they've done it in like multiple places. But yeah, it, it, they're based out of Miami, cool. um, or at least EFN is and and Nori. Yeah, yeah, they're be, they they've been in Miami for a while. I'm pretty sure both of them. But yeah, you know this when Josh was saying we're coming over here and we're. Just gonna have some beers and shit. I'm like, I know where this is going. Like, oh, wow. I know Drake. We're gonna get I smashed. Yeah. And it reminds me of, of like Good my homies jumbos. podcast. I just wanted to put and it's a great one. Jumbos. If you haven't seen it, there's some I'm fucking ready, epi- ready, like episodes that are like ready. legendary. Jumbos? And I think the one that got them famous was like or got them really like a lot of their first like listens, a big whatever, the first viral one was with DMX and he's like smashed on there and he's saying some shit. <laughs> some shit. He, everybody said, on there's what? some people Wait, that said it? some shit on there what's that the, it's like, what's, oh, what's their Instagram really? handle? Yeah. What's their Instagram handle, do you know? Uh, drink Champs? I I would imagine Drink Champs. I think so. Drink Champs yeah. podcast? Oh, there I, they are. I'm sorry, yeah. I drink wrong like an idiot. It's a good show. It's like a great, it's, it's a really kid. great show. <laughs> What's up? You're like a paramedic kid of fucking everything. I mean, every every time you turn around, he's opening up a new pack of something. <laughs> Dude, that does I'm something like, else. I'm like a gearhead with my weed shit. Like, I'm it's not a gearhead crazy. at all. But like, I well, my exclusive way of smoking is joints. Like so 19 like, different kinds of crutches. 
<laughs> yeah, we're go- we're going cardboard now. What's your go-to weed? What's your go-to setup? Like, if you could do the same so, thing every day, I mean, my don't. go-to is uh, is Terp Stars Genetics. Hey, I told Jesse to come smoke. Jesse's coming to smoke. Everyone, Perfect. welcome my boyfriend to the shit show. You've all heard me talk about him. Here oh, he man. is. He's he's made it. He refuses. He will not <laughs> come do, on do the we, talk. Do we get to hear his voice? He wants nothing to do with this. <laughs> I just learned what pegging was. What? What you is that? Pegging is. Thank you. I just learned too. Peg? So, so Peg is that a gay term? Is that a gay strap on, on and no, fucks it's not. you? Yeah, it's where a woman <laughs> it's like, fucks you. Why would I know that? With a strap on. I've never, I've never been pegged. Oh, pegging. Get pegged. Okay. Get pegged. Yeah, like, I would have Why would never... I know what that is? I mean, it sounds like the thing. Yeah. Just... I mean, have you ever had your butthole fingered? No. Not even one little. It's not it's past the so... knuckle. <laughs> That's I haven't, and um, yeah. I mean, you guys are honestly. It's gay if it's past the knuckle. Only the doctor can go past the knuckle, it has to be a female. The small he figures. Has nothing to do with us. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, I will just tell you this, and even straight people have said this, men. You guys are missing out because the prostate is like the female G spot. Oh, in there. Like in, in there. there. So it's in there. Okay? So Yeah, in there is scary, I think. And I went on a radio show recently before Cali Roots to promote the Cali Roots thing with Nick from Yali Bird. Mm-hmm. And on there, I'm thinking it's like our podcast. We say fuck everything all the time because it's fucking. It's a podcast. Well, I'm on the radio show going, yeah, fucking fuck. And they're like, no, no, it's live. I'm all, what? Live? What, what do you mean? What does it matter? <laughs> you can't. Oh, man. Well, that's like 400 bucks from the FCC. I'm like, Shit. Sorry about that. That's it? Oh, I don't know shit. what it was, but yeah. Cheapos, I don't pay that. Okay, what I new- want to know is how much of that sh- stuff slides. Now I feel like I have to like, censor myself. What happened there? No, yeah. I well, hear you now. now. Let's go with the podcast. Everyone's heard everything. I mean, you got like a song from Rihanna where she's like, <coughs> whipping and like chaining you up and fucking you. Like, like what's what? everything's been said, everything's been done. Everyone's Dude, have you seen everything. that Guava Island? I oh have. yeah! Heard, Josh dude. showed this. We, I took dude. a fucking huge dab the other day. It's a fucking amazing, it's dude. <laughs> it's a short film uh, featuring Childish Gambino, Donald Glover, Bro, and Rihanna. It's so sick. And it's basically like a musical for Gambino's like latest, like you know, like kind of like. Killer. Homeboy's kind of, killing it. Dude, he. It, Yo, dude, that shit so is crazy. Good, dude, it's so fucking good. I'm. I was blown away. I was really like. He's a real artist for me, man. Like I. I've I've been about him since he first came out with like cul de sac and all his old shit. Like I don't know what that is. You guys are rolling some of the biggest fucking joints I've ever seen by a roll. <laughs> and you guys are just fucking smoking them like chain chain smoking. Yeah, yeah he's my he's light, my coach. The, the light in the next one with the old one. He's yeah. my manager, and my coach. <laughs> right, <he's> my coach. <laughs> so Josh, coach. Josh, I have a question for you. What's so up? I used to smoke all the time. Mm-hmm. Big smoker. Well, mm-hmm. not big smoker, but I would smoke and I would enjoy it. It would be like a nice like going to have a beer at the end mm-hmm. of the night. One but time then, a day type thing, or once in a while. Well, once a day. Sometimes I would do it, you know, in the morning. Cool. But anyways, I did it for about three years, and then I felt like all of a sudden there was a, a switch that mm. flipped, and I beca- would become paranoid constantly. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Every yeah, time I smoked, too. no matter what I would smoke, when I would smoke it, but I would get like massive, massive, massive paranoia. I have a take on that. Why? Josh, uh, I want to hear the scientific. Yeah. I want to hear the scientist first. What's the scientific, and why does weed make people paranoid and... How do it you makes avoid me look it? out the window. My blinds like to tweaker. Yeah. It Still. Like I've had that. Are you paranoid right nation. now from the secondhand smoke? <coughs> no. No. Because it's not enough, I'd imagine, maybe. But, um. It's usually I, at nighttime that makes you paranoid. For, for me, so from my experience with something similar, is, um, I was getting really, really, um, I was getting really sick. Like, I was getting he- weird headaches. Like, I, that's when I really... I was at late. I started smoking late. So I was, like, maybe 22 when I first started smoking weed. Super late. That's a good call. And um, <laughs> I started getting really sick. Like, I started feeling weird. Like, I had these weird headaches. My my body felt weird. When you were smoking? Yeah, when I was smoking. And, like, I, I it took me a couple weeks to figure it out. I was like, what the fuck? Why am I feeling like this, you know? Like, I was feeling stressed. I was feeling mad anxious. I felt physically ill. And I Whoa. finally figured out after a couple of weeks of like going through my diet and all this shit, exercise, blah, blah, blah. Like it was the weed I was smoking. So my guy that I was getting it from was like some random ass grower. And I'm assuming he was just growing it with pesticides. Yeah, no, because I started shit. feeling really shitty. And once I was like, I was like, dude, it's the fucking weed. So then I started researching weed. Huh. Um, and that's how I started. That's when I just went off the fucking cliff. I was like, oh, dude, this whole world exists of weed because before I would in? just I would just be like oh dude you got a dealer yeah let me you know let me buy right. weed but then I started feeling really shitty I started doing my own homework and I learned and came across the medical community which was fucking amazing dude an amazing Testings group of people yeah. yeah and so like and that's when I started learning about brands and like you know really just diving like going <laughs> headfirst into everything but um <coughs> so what it was was it was shitty weed you know it was really you know 
It was bad, it was bad weed. weed, you know. Yeah, it was harmful weed, yeah. Feel, so, like, sure. it, that could have been it as well. And maybe you've never had access to, like, you know, really clean, you know, weed, which is kind of hard to find, I guess, these days. I grew some nice blue dream a few years ago. Yeah? It was really nice. And I tried to do it all natural. Not too much came out. My next-door neighbor, he grew some, used all the fucking, you know, the, Stuff you put in and got measured the nutrients, yeah. The nutrients. Are you okay? This shit was a fucking You're, monster. Do you are you able to like, or does it like? Would you get in trouble or anything? If it's only illegal if you get caught. <laughs> no, I'm wondering like how that works. I grew up to, in our in our county. I think it's six or six or ten plants. What you know? county is but that? But anything again? regarding like Costa. because you got in trouble or anything, you know? I mean, I got felonies from it, but that's what I mean. But do you? Is <clears> there? Are they like if you get in trouble with weed again, you're fucked? Like you know what I mean? No. Anyway, I'm just wondering. Yeah. I just don't fuck around no more. Hey, yeah, it's not to lose worth now. It. I've already lost everything twice. That's, like, yeah, that's kind yeah, of... because that's from being divorced. Makes total sense. No, I didn't really lose anything in my divorce. <laughs> I have two good divorces from two <laughs> amazing women. I'm still friends with one of them. The, the other one I can't divorces. because her husband found out I ate her pussy like a couple days before they got married. And, <laughs> <laughs> and apparently now we can't be friends no more. So <laughs> Holy shit. I happening. imagine so, I just dude. Yeah. That's, that's so heavy. funny. Wow. Man. That's Shout hilarious. out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what up, bitch? How you doing? <laughs> Shout out right there. Yeah. Hell of a right. Shout out. So, uh, Josh, tell us about what's going on with High Rise Co. Yeah, so High Rise, they're, um, I mean, they're killing it, man. They created the cannabis influencer market. They started out as a clothing company. We started making weed clothes in Ladder Long Beach. Two, uh, um, Derek Fukuhara and Aaron Coffey are the two founders. Derek Fukuhara used to skate for World Industries. Uh, he, was, yeah. he went pro for World Industries, legend yeah. in the skate community. And then Aaron filmed him, and you know they were just involved in the community and started their own clothing brand. And three, and that was what maybe like seven, eight years ago. And then um, before they started the media agency where they do content creation and um, 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 like you know social media management, website development, shit like that. Um, they, um, damn, I lost my train of thought. Um, they created, Don't uh, smoke weed. <laughs> they created the, uh, they created the, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm stoned to. <laughs> they created, they created the, the can, they, they made cannabis influencers. So Aaron was dating at the time, uh, Mac Dizzle 420, which is her IG Instagram. Um, but, uh, built her, uh, helped build her up into who she is now, which is, you know, these, these these influencers are, you know, making a great living off, you know, doing weed, weed-based content and, you know, sponsorship, stuff like that. Amen. Dude, it's getting Fuck next level, yeah. dude. Like, you know, uh, some of these God people, like, it, Willow Smith is commenting on their stuff. Wow. And, like, High Rise created the cannabis influencer market. And, like, they're on the pulse of what's what, dude. Like, they kill it, dude. They're going to be huge, dude. They're going to be, like you know, Kim K level esque of like notoriety in my opinion. Cause once cannabis goes mainstream, they got the Southern California community on lock. They are that community, you right. know what I mean? And they speak to it and those are the people, those are their like dedicated followers. And SoCal is basically the whole world. It's the, trend, it's, it's the trend. It's the trend. Yeah, yeah. You go to you go to Amsterdam, and their best weed is advertised as Cali weed. Like yep. Cali really? is. Yeah, it's if you have a brand in California, that legacy is fucking huge. Like yeah. Cali's known as the best and is the best. It's you the know? best That's weed I've growing. ever smoked anywhere in, I've ever been on the planet. And I haven't. I mean, I'd like to think I've been to certain spots that have like good like weed cultures there and everything. And it's mm-hmm. this is nothing beats this place. Yeah, nothing Northern California. It's like. The founding. Well, I, I should say California because I don't know the difference between the SoCal and NorCal too much. But Dude, to, to, not to interrupt. Might as well be two different yeah. states. What were you saying about NorCal though? Yeah, NorCal's like the Emerald Triangles for all the fucking weed farms. Man, forever. That place, that's been supplying weed forever. I mean, up to the towns are funded on it. I mean, the taxes are, everything's bought from weed money. It's like the, uh, it's crazy. The yeah. old, what's that? It's same? crazy, Dude. Fucking, It's like the pastime. Of so Humboldt County, there. yeah. So people like, grow wine. You know, the California grows weed. I heard people started getting in trouble recently, though, and <clears throat> yeah, like they tried to that? shut shit down there. Yeah, what's the rates, dude. Raids well, stuff. so like now, I heard all they that. Get rid of the Bulgarians up there because they were like really fucking like. But for a long mafia. time, it's been happening. Really, right? like, for yeah. years. I haven't right? heard about that. That's crazy. Yeah, See, that's some like black market shit. Yeah. Um, that's pretty crazy. I don't know. It's just like Prop sixty four kicking in now. Now, if you're not licensed, you can't you can't be trapping anymore. Simple as that. It's illegal to grow right now in California. It's county by county, correct? And what do you mean? If you want to grow your personal... You just have to have a medical... Uh, the state medical card or something like that. Oh, you, can't, you can't grow mm-hmm. recreational. I was going to say... No. Yeah. I don't th- actually, I don't know. I think I you can. No there's, a, there's a guy in, in Echo Park Lake that literally sells. He sits there 
out in the open. No He's way. selling clones? He sells little, little pot plants. Oh, nice. No way. Yeah. That's amazing. That's hilarious. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if he's going to be arrested That's so dumb. Arrested before or what the deal That's is, amazing. If he just sits there. I see him all the time. There's a lot of flowering buds. It's going to be the new street vendors. Get a, right? get a street dog and then and get a like clone. Five, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oranges and, uh, and cut two little pot plants. I found a seed in the <laughs> insane OG the other day. Shout out to Ross, dude. Hey, insane, dude. Hey. I found a seed in it, and I have oh, it really? there on the table. What? And I didn't know what to do with it because it's like, Pop I mean, it's shit. the only thing I've ever seen. Yeah, I don't know. I, we, me and Cal were like, it? should we just throw it in the grass outside? Like, what the fuck should we do with this? The seeds stay good for a long time. I got some seeds my fridge just gave me from the 70s. Yeah, they'll stay good, from exactly. Old and well, I didn't know that long. Holy really? Like, original. You should like the, 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 Af- the Afghan shit? It's from Is the 70s. My friend, it was if, his wife's. Dad's used to wow, grow the Wow, that's crazy. Have, have so like cool. Maybe 12 seeds. That's crazy. Yo, seeds are expensive. They're like 150 a pack of like 12 seeds. Really? What? I'm not even joking. For the primo exotic, like, you know what I mean? Remember, what was it back in the day, high times when I was a kid? You could order seeds in there from like Amsterdam and everywhere. They'd wow. Mail them to you. I heard somebody say they paid thousands of dollars for seeds before. Dude, the, the record's like 17K for a pack. Yeah. Of 12 what? seeds. Uh huh. There's some that was, like, that coveted was Capulator, strains, Capulator's like. Mac One. That was a couple couple years. Oh, back. that's the Mac One. Mm-hmm. That shit is incredible. Well, I bet people are gonna really? take. There's those these people out here. Piece of green, that, right? right? Is it piece of green? Uh, Mac One. Yeah, that was that the first hundred dollar eighth in California. It's one of the best. <laughs> Barbary Coast in San Francisco. One of the yeah. best legal weeds you can buy out here. Again, these guys. They, it's fire. they deserve yeah, a piece, shout out because they're so low key. Cap does good shit. That shit's incredible. Why is it? What makes it so expensive? Is it just because it's so good, or the care that growing? There's just growing an art form. It's not as expensive as as you would think. It should. So that is worth. Well. Well, at his dispensary, yeah, but Mac One in general is an expensive ass oh, strain everywhere. Oh, get you, get you, get right. you. Right, but right, Cap, right. he's like, you know, he's patient. He's he's about patience, and so you can get forty dollar eighth of fucking fire. That's the same hundred dollar eighth you'd get up there grown by someone else. A hundred dollars. But what makes it so expensive right is eight. to Fuck grow really that. top quality flowers. Never. It takes more time and involvement with the plant. You gotta yes. touch it every day. <clears throat> you gotta give it that TLC every day. Give it the right nutrients, and the it's right dirt, it's not right easy. Everything. It takes a ton of work, and you can half-ass it, use pesticides, and do half the work, and you know, but have shit, you know, you have shitty weed. But like, the more work, the more care up. for like, yeah, exactly. And it, bastards. And you can't use pesticides, and pesticides make it e- makes it easier to grow weed. And if you don't use pesticides, it's really hard to get that quality. You got to you got to be on top of your shit every day and control the atmosphere and shit. Like it's crazy. You get bugs even when it's inside. Like, are there a lot of mm-hmm. you can't bugs get mice, that, especially if you have yeah. like, contamination. One one just one fuck plant come in there that could fuck your whole shit. Up. Yeah, exactly. So like, that say, say homie, a lot of fucking money. Echo Park Lake homie, say one of his clones brought into some <laughs> random facility. If that clone had mites which are like little bugs it would infect that whole facility it, it would just spread Shit. they'd have to chop the whole room like yeah. Jesus. and they would do it real quick then they'd bomb it just to make sure they get everything because they don't want one more fucking mite in that motherfucker and that's Dude, x even, amount of money that's not being made that's right. like crazy pesticides stay in the genetics though so even seeds if those seeds come from pesticide grown moms and dads It'll be in there. So even if you grow it clean without pesticides, you, it's possible that it could still pop Holy shit. on a so test. Or, so if I'm going and buying an organic piece of produce at Trader Joe's over there, if that seed came from something that was used with pesticides mm-hmm. at one point down in the genetic chain, then it would honestly be have pesticides in it already? Possibly, yeah. And, and so that can make you sick with weeds, obviously. So obviously if you're mm-hmm. eating... A fucking lemon. <clears throat> or a problem with up north is, uh, my, my paramedic friends tell me at least one case a day, it's like a month or two ago, they were getting someone they had to go pick up that was fucking full blown. A normal person smoked out of their, uh, the vape pens yeah. and went crazy. What? Full blown lost it. What? I'm talking outside, just nuts. Herb. I mean, full blown stun gunning them to the ground. To Cannabis pen. Wow. <clears throat> from from some of those da- fake one of those dab pens? They're copying all the, the Mac Drake cartridges, the Fuck. Mario Kart. What a trip. They're copying That's all of them. Scary. That's scary. That's why I'd be telling. <laughs> I've been telling people in Miami for a long time. They'll ask me because I'm like <laughs> working with slightly stupid or whatever, you know, like out here in California and shit. They're like, "This is like George is the pro." Well, because I smoke too, but <laughs> they, they, I tell them, I tell all of them, be careful with those fucking pens, man. Because in Florida, they're not. Eighty percent of them have to be fucking like you know. Yeah. What I mean? I'm just throwing yeah. random numbers no, out there. But, it's got to be some crazy shit like that. That's it, yeah. that's not like. Checked. I mean, they're driving people nuts. You know what I'm saying? All they do is smoke some of that weed, and boom, like an hour, half hour later, they watch TV and just start beating their wives up, doing it just for no reason. Like what? Totally out of character. For real? Turning into like zombie monsters. Fuck, ah, 
That's like, that's like amazing. Fucking bath salts or something. Well, I've heard about that with like flaca, which is that Chinese synthetic like. weed. That shit will like. What is that? That's yeah, some, so that's some Florida man shit. That's some shit. You know I the Florida, it. it's like, it's Florida like man It's like bath salt shit. Yeah, it's zombie shit. Yeah. Zombie shit. Shout out to my fucking my state. <laughs> yeah, right. The state of the Miami. Zombie state. The state. Florida yeah, no, Miami's is a different crazy. place. Miami's Absolutely. definitely a different place. It's so. like L. A. Is the yeah, every time Florida. I fly into Miami, every time I come from outside the country, they throw me to secondary. They fucking every time you. Every oh, I get. I get. <laughs> It's random. Yeah, right. They make, yeah, they make me miss my flight. They still get me another flight. Every time. Every time. Every yeah, that's time definitely not random. Flight. That's definitely Why? not random. They think you're rowdy, dude. dude they, they, they got, they got right, that now, facial recognition I, I'm online. Right now, uh, honestly, I'm on a green list with my passport. So I went to Brazil last year. They kicked me out. Why? I'm on a green list. They showed me the thing that says, international traveling criminal will cause crime affecting multiple countries. <laughs> I put on everything I love. I was like, what? Affecting so, multiple right countries. Shot me back home. I fucking so love I that. like 35 hours in airports yeah. and fucking airplanes. That's insane, dude. Damn. Jesus. Christ. Wait, See, tell us about Flocka. I want to know about this. Flocka is a <laughs> synthetic <laughs> weed uh, that's made in China. Is it the K and whatever? And it's sold in like, yeah, like, uh, what's what, it called? So K, is it, yeah. in a, come in a pill K2 form? K2 or K... No, it looks like weed. K- it no, looks like synthetic? weed. And it's sold at like liquor stores and shit. shit and quick. they can legally do it because it's not <laughs> weed, it's not technically. It's not a flower, though. Is yeah, it's oil? like, no, it's a flower. But what, how is it synthetic? It's like herbs. It looks like a tea mix. It comes in a bag, it's like a tea mix, and you smoke it, and you get fucking... You zombie. Fucked up, dude. You yeah. See people on Flocka, dude. They're but like, what is? I'm, but I, I'm, I'm confused. It's like it's they grow a plant. It's synthetic, man-made oh, weed. Oh, Flocka is not K2. Flocka and K2 are two different things. Is what I'm. Saying. How do you ma- how do you fucking make a flower? I have you no don't. idea, dude. You know it's they they just shit. figured Everybody, out. You gotta shit. really understand that when you're synthetically making something, it's not. <laughs> It's synthetic. It's, no, like, it's not the but same then at the thing same at all. Time, what the fuck, man, was that fucking uh, salvia? Or salvia. Fuck I that never did shit. salvia. Fuck that shit. Wow. Hey, I'm good with acid and everything, dude. That done, shit had me done? fucking yeah, tripping. Yeah, really? Dude. Salvia is serious. That was but big in high minute. school when I was in I high school. I never did it, though. Dude. dude nah, fuck not the shit that I did. <laughs> My shit was like seven right. minutes or something. They said that's like it's like I a like I shitty DMT move. or something. Like, like, it was worse than DMT. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'll never do salvia again. Don't ever. Dude, fuck. Yeah, don't do that. That, that is not the, the thing to do. Oh, that shit's weak. He took a big old hit and stood right there and just started pissing himself. That shit will fuck I saw up. a girl piss, piss herself in my house. Yeah. What? Yeah. She she goes up. She's cracking up. She's like, oh, I'm feeling myself. And we're like, no, you're not. <laughs> oh, my and God. And like, you wow. fucking are. She's sitting in our beanbag. On our beanbag bean 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 chair. Warm. You can't clean <laughs> a beanbag. Like, she had oh, to toss that beanbag after that. You can't clean a beanbag. She started, like, undressing. Had no idea what she was doing. That she was on Salvia. Yep. I'm gonna need her phone number. Asking for a friend. A friend of mine (laughs) takes her to the bathroom and like stops her from undressing. Takes her to the bathroom and like kind of like sat with her for a second, like and then was like, "Do your thing." When she was fine, she was out for a while, like not herself. Do you guys like getting? Do you guys like getting pissed on? Do your girls piss on you? (laughs) No. 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 No? I've never. I love the sub, dude. Did you see that coming? Did anybody see that coming at all? (laughs) Well, I mean, I'm just curious. (laughs) It's wild. He comes out of fucking like left field all the time. Is that really common? I think I thought about this. No, it's not. I'm not gonna lie. Like, (laughs) no one talks about it. I'm not gonna lie. Afraid. I was um. (laughs) I was the fun guy last night, right? Does anybody? Did anybody catch that? Uh, fun guy. Yeah. So. I was my my mind was altered Chocolates? last night. No, straight. Just I can't do it and, like um, that. I thought about that for some reason. I thought about, about like the the fetish of yeah, like hey, getting boo, pissed it's on. It's a whole thing. But I no, I don't Jimmy, want I know, to I do know that. I don't want to do that. I piss on yeah. <laughs> I, can't, I think I like Same. thought about it and I was like, would I ever? You know, I had that moment like where it's you're like, thing. huh? Interesting. Really, and then I'm like, no, nah, just the thought of it immediately. I was like, I don't think I'm, I would like that. I don't think I would like okay, that. Okay, well, would you like pissing on someone else? Mm-mm. Maybe that. I don't no? like it. <laughs> but you'd rather get pissed on? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, you're in the shower, you piss on your chick or whatever chick you have in the shower. And fucking, on her now face? she spins over and squirts Well, I was thinking more like I would be <laughs> the one pissing. That's why I'm, like, I'm already like, yes. that's what I was thinking I was going to do. Because I'm not, I would, the other end would off. sound even, even crazier to me. <laughs> yeah. It sounds really like, I don't know. I mean, maybe. So like, I take you right like, in the You're not in the scout. Oh, that's not disgusting. me, but <laughs> I, I could What's see disgusting? how somebody would be into it, maybe. Like but I'm, I wouldn't be into it. Like, oh, God, that's no. Too much. I mean, piss is at least, like, sterile and clean. <laughs> Well, uh, thanks guys for coming on the show, and this was Appreciate we are you. all incredibly stoned right now. I didn't, 
put my mouth on one joint, but I are you stabbed? Definitely <laughs> and definitely. But you put your mouth on something else. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm all of a sudden very relaxed, incredibly horny. And Isn't that how's that different from any other great. hour of the day? It sounds like that's your job. You usually throw those. I jokes, cracked right? him out, dude. Well, I did. I did take a Viagra like an hour ago. So. <laughs> I yeah, wonder I if, once again, back. is this true? Or <laughs> we'll running around the neighbor playing doorbell jits with no fingers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Back, back to the prostate talk. Back <laughs> to the prostate. So, everyone, uh, go strap it on, and uh, we'll see you guys later. <laughs>